plans to get more children speaking Welsh confidently have been published by the Welsh Government and Plaid Cymru. It'll see more schools switch to a system where subjects are taught in Welsh rather than in English. Mably Jones is from Camdieth as a Iaith, which is a Welsh language campaign group. Mably, welcome. Hi, good to be here. Thanks. It's great to have you. Before we get into your thoughts on all of this, just explain uh, to everybody living outside of Wales what a Welsh medium school is. So a Welsh medium school, like um, the one I attended, is where um, all your lessons are through the medium of Welsh and all the activities in the classroom and outside of it are through the medium of Welsh, other than uh, English language and literature lessons. So at the moment, about 20% of children and young people in Wales go to schools um, that are Welsh medium and they leave school um, totally fluent in uh, Welsh and English. OK, so this is going to really change the game, isn't it? What's your hope? Well, um, the white paper that's been published today um, and the ambition from the government um, is a huge step forward. And um, as Kim Deithas of the Eighth, we've been campaigning for years for Welsh medium education to be expanded and to be made available to everyone. And it's really positive to see now we've got um, the government recognising that the education system needs to be transformed and setting that aim of all children leaving school, being able to communicate confidently in Welsh. That's really good to see. Um, However, from our perspective, we don't think the proposals go far enough because if we do want to see every single child from whatever background they're from leaving school being able to speak Welsh, we know that all the evidence, whether it's in Wales or internationally, shows that the only way you achieve that is through full Welsh medium education. So we're calling for the final legislation at the end of this process to have a target on it moving towards a system over time where every single school in Wales would be a Welsh medium one by 2050. I mean, it's a brilliant thing and it's a fantastic thing for the Welsh culture and the preservation of language. Is there any resistance from people within Wales to this shift? I think what's really positive is um, that we have a consensus now in Wales where um, the majority of people here in Wales want to see the language thrive um, and all children growing up to speak it. And there has been a change over the decades and it really is seen now as a language that um, is for everyone and and really does belong to every single person in this country, wherever they come from. Um, So that's really good and that we've got that public support and that that comes from people from all types of backgrounds and all political parties and, you know, including um, the government itself. So that's really good. And what we need to see now is the action to put that into place because we've got a target of a million Welsh speakers in Wales that the government has set um, by 2050. And the way that you create new speakers is uh, predominantly through the statutory education system. And at the moment, we've got um, 80% of children leaving school who are being failed by the system because they have quite tokenistic Welsh language lessons. And then we hear so many adults saying that they wish they spoke Welsh and that they really regret they never got the chance to do that. And, you know, we all know how much easier it is to learn a language as a child compared to as an adult. So we really want to see the government take this a step forward um, and really move us towards that system where everyone um, is able to speak the language. And that would have, um, you know, really positive reverberations like internationally as well for other countries that are trying to grow and protect minority languages. I had a text in. Um, just respond to this if you wouldn't mind. The changes to Welsh language education will make no difference. Most people don't want these changes. There aren't enough teachers who can speak Welsh to a high enough standard. Is that an issue? Um, well, I definitely wouldn't agree that most people don't want these changes. I mean, all the evidence that we see, all the public polling, um, all the sort of general um, conversation in Wales shows that most people are very, very supportive of the language. There is a problem in terms of having um, the education workforce at the moment, um, but we've been campaigning and, and we're pushing the government to set targets in this legislation in terms of providing um, the workforce. We want to see um, changes to the way that 
that teachers are recruited, the way that they're trained, so that we really go on this journey as a country and as an education system altogether, including teachers and parents, um, to get to a point where every school is one where you leave school being able to speak Welsh and English and other languages um, confidently and wherever you come from. It doesn't have to be an either or, but maybe potentially if, if you say you need to train up teachers to you know, to a certain level to be able to be proficient teachers of the Welsh language, many people listening to this might say, you know, well, it, it you do need to sort of keep this language alive, but for, you know, it will only be spoken by a certain number of people. Is it not more important to, as you just said, get children in Welsh schools proficient in other languages? Well, as you say, it's not an either or. And all the evidence in Wales and internationally shows that having bilingual education, having education where where children um, grow up learning um, different languages actually improves educational outcomes as a whole. And the more languages that you are able to learn from a young age, the easier it becomes after. Um, You know, I learned French in my Welsh medium school and was able to go off and get all the opportunities that come with that too. So there's no reason that we wouldn't be able to learn other languages and many Welsh speakers do. We want to see that happen. Um, But all the opportunities that you get in Wales, all the cultural opportunities when it comes to music, events, literature, um, social opportunities, meeting new people and economic opportunities in terms of the jobs that open up to you. We know that all that that comes with having the Welsh language in Wales is something that every child should have. It shouldn't be something that's just kept to a minority of children, which is around 20 percent at the moment. We want to see the rest of those children, the 80% who are currently left out being brought along with us on that journey and and being able to have our national language. Just a brief uh, comment from Paul who says, my nephews are taught in Welsh. Interestingly though, once they reach A-levels, they revert to being taught in English as otherwise they are at risk of being um, non-competitive in entering English, (coughs) excuse me, taught degree courses in England, particularly an issue for sciences, medicine, etc., where there are often no Welsh technical vocabulary that that's a problem isn't it you'll get them to a certain level but if there's no crossover on language it, they're left high and try um, well, I personally did um, all my A-levels through the medium of Welsh, including physics, um, and it is possible, it's completely possible, and you can go on to university, and we now have um, a growth in uh, university courses through the medium of Welsh, including science, and um, there are new issues with that. Um, we do agree, though, that you definitely need to see opportunities to use and grow the Welsh language beyond the education system, and we need more jobs, um, more cultural opportunities opportunities, more spaces where it's normalised and people are given that opportunity to use those skills and develop them once they leave school.